that you're seeing countries that are making you sign under penalty of perjury and going to jail and all that if you have crypto or not. You're seeing tax rates go up and tax treatments getting worse in many places. But there are places where it is better and you can pay 0%. Now, if you're an American, that gets to be more difficult. Andrew, I've uh, followed some of your work recently and uh, been uh, quite uh, uh, impressed with uh, some of the work you're doing. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So Andrew, you're known for promoting this idea of being a nomad capitalist. So what does, what does, how would you define nomad capitalism? Well, it's somebody who wants to make the most out of the financial opportunities that are available. So if they're looking at cryptocurrency, if they have a business, whatever it may be, um, it is not necessarily somebody who's looking to move overseas and make as little as possible. It's someone who's looking to build an empire, grow their empire. It's somebody who would like to live overseas um, in all likelihood, or at least create a plan B so they can live overseas. It's not about you know, traveling with a suitcase behind you. Uh, it is the idea that you know, nomad is, if you look at the nomads in Mongolia, for example, you know, historically they follow the herd. And when the opportunities you know, go away, they go and they travel with the herd. And so I think that what we've seen is, you know, over the last 20 to 30 years, a, a great loss of opportunity, a great loss of capitalistic spirit uh, in Western countries. And I feel like the herd is moving. And if you look at you know, statistics, the herd is moving uh, to you know, back eastward. You, you, know, you saw thousands of years ago, commerce, the center of commerce, the center of global trade was above Asia. Uh, it moved over, got over to Western Europe at its peak, and now it's heading back. And so I think that people who are successful investors, successful entrepreneurs who have wealth should, as I say, go where they're treated best. They should not stay in a place that doesn't respect them, that wants to take from them, uh, where they are not respected by the voting class. And so uh, I think there's been a lot of changes in our lifetime that people should, should heed. In your book as well, you talk about some of the benefits of this idea of this lifestyle of living the nomad capitalist lifestyle. So in your mind, what are some of the top, you know, the key benefits of pursuing this kind of approach? Well, I think there's a couple main categories. Number one is your finances. So you can legally reduce your taxes. You can choose your own tax rate in many cases, uh, whether you're a crypto trader again or an entrepreneur, you can pay zero, you can pay five, you can pay 10. A lot of people are paying 40 and 50 and they want it to go up. Um, you can legally access you know, higher quality banks. Uh, you can, uh, if you're an American, be able to break free from that, access certain crypto investments. Uh, so there's financial benefits. Uh, there are residence and citizenship and lifestyle benefits. You can live in a place with a lower cost of living, get more value for your money, live in a place that suits you more socially, um, better weather. Uh, you can get a second citizenship. I think every crypto investor should do that so that they are not married to one government. You see what countries are doing? We just saw South Korea recently. They're going to make crypto taxes worse. And so when your country goes in the wrong direction, you want a residence, you want a citizenship, you want a place to live. And I think that if you're cashing out of some of your crypto, you know, I don't want to be invested in just one country. So I'm going to look at um, how do I invest in up and coming countries? How do I invest in outside of my country for asset protection, uh, for diversification? Uh, those are the main things I think people can get out of it. And I think the beautiful thing is you get to choose from the buffet. You know, you get to choose the best passport for you. You get to choose the best bank and the best banking jurisdiction for you. And they don't have to be the same place. You get to choose the best place to date, get married, what have you. They don't have to be all the same place. You get to choose. And if you're not ready to leave your country yet, you can still get a second residence, get a second passport, get a home somewhere that you can go if things get bad. Um, those are some of the options I think everyone should have available. Also, you mentioned around the possibility for very significant tax savings, because when you talk to people domestically, they're thinking, oh, set up a trust and stream the income and so on. And they're talking about these very minimal level tax savings, whereas what you're talking about is taking it from 40 or 50% down to zero or close to zero percent taxes. So I think there's a very big benefit there if you also consider the compounding factor that if you were to do this and then save over the course of you know five, 10 years or even longer, that's really adding up to a lot of savings for individuals. And I think that's also a point you touch on in your book as well. Could you outline some of the benefits there from that perspective? 
Well, yeah, as I said, you get to choose your own tax rate. You see a lot of countries that are changing crypto policies. They're making them uh, more rigid in terms of enforcement, in terms of reportability. Uh, you're seeing countries that are making you sign under penalty of perjury and going to jail and all that if you have crypto or not. You're seeing tax rates go up and tax treatments getting worse in many places. But there are places where it is better and you can pay 0%. Now, if you're an American, that gets to be more difficult. Uh, it may be a matter of moving to Puerto Rico. It may be a matter of you know, seeing you know, what it is that you're doing. You might even decide to, to give up your citizenship. If you're not an American, uh, it, it comes down to simply leaving your country and choosing a better place, right? Because Americans are taxed on their worldwide income no matter where they go, whereas pretty much everyone else is not. And so you can choose to go somewhere. And I think you know, the compounding effect is very important. Uh, I had a gentleman recently, he's a young guy, he came to me and he had started a side hustle. He was investing in crypto through his day job, but he started a side hustle during the pandemic. He's working from home, <laughs> he had nothing to do, right? Uh, for 16 hours of the day. So he started making uh, close to a million dollars a year, I think was the run rate by the time he was done. And we figured out all the taxes he was squirreling away each month uh, to pay the tax bill, all the money he was squirreling away, would have turned into something like an extra $800,000 in crypto had he been you know, putting that extra money from his cash cow business into crypto. He's a pretty young guy. And so if you look at you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you know, what's the benefit of an extra $800,000? Not only that you're saving it, but you're reinvesting it into a business, into more crypto, into whatever. Uh, it, it adds up. And I look at my own life, you know, going where I'm treated best, I will, over the course of a lifetime, create tens of millions of dollars in extra value to uh, create more businesses, create more jobs, you know, give to causes that are important. Uh, I can promise you if that money was given to the U.S. government, it would be squandered, right? And, and two cents on the dollar would get to anything meaningful. So um, you can pay as little as zero on crypto and you can live in an environment where they actually welcome you and they want your business, unlike the country you're probably living in now where they think that you aren't paying enough. I've noticed as well from uh, some of your um, content where you mentioned you talk about uh, being a libertarian. I'm also a libertarian. And I think in some ways, this is almost like putting it into practice because I see a lot of libertarians who unfortunately spend a lot of time just spinning their wheels and, and spinning in the yeah. mud and they're not being effective where really, I think pursuing some of these kinds of strategies actually allow people to achieve additional freedom for themselves. Uh, in a way that was not possible, uh, you know. I think what a lot of people do, and I've been studying libertarianism, I've been a student in, in a, you know, of it since I was a teenager. I mean, imagine you know, the dating prospects, being a 14-year-old, picking up libertarian yard signs to put in your parents' front yard. Um, but it really hit me when I was you know, 20, 21, something like that, when I first got the actual tax bill. I was all for taxes should be so low, the government wastes your money. But it actually became real when I started to become successful. And I think it's becoming real right now for a lot of folks in the crypto industry. And what I think is concerning is, you know, I've never had an air of invincibility. I never thought that I was going to outsmart the IRS or the CRA or whomever for the rest of my life. And I think that there's an opportunity. We have a big wide world, even during COVID, by the way, oh, you can't go anywhere during COVID. I have people going all over the place during COVID. I've been in how many countries during COVID? You can go places. You may not be able to go to Canada, but you don't want to go there anyway, right? Their taxes are terrible. Their freedom is terrible. They got a lot of problems. So the problem is that people do this thing where I live in the US, it's still the best country on earth because you can own guns or something. And, and I'm all for that. But I think that you know, people have this thing where there's every excuse in the book to not go where you're treated best because in reality, it's scary. And I get it. The good news is there's now a nomad capitalist and many other resources that didn't exist when I started doing this 13 years ago. And so you can make a pretty soft landing. But I think so many people want to sit around. They're going to hide their crypto from the IRS or from the tax man. They'll never find out, you know, and uh, they're never going to want to cash it in or, you know, they'll, they'll never change the tax code to make taking loans more disadvantageous. They'll never do any of that. Uh, and, uh, you know, when freedom becomes uh, limited, uh, they're going to have their guns and I don't know what they plan on doing. They're going to take on the military. I mean, you know, to me, the challenge, having spent a life around libertarians, I've worked in the broadcasting business. And again, I'm, I'm there with you politically. But there is, as you say, so much wheel spinning, so, many, so much discussing how many angels condense uh, on the head of a pin. And is the goal freedom? 
Or is the goal just to be trolls? You know, for me, I want the feeling of freedom. And the greatest thing I've got from leaving the United States physically and the greatest thing I got from actually renouncing my U.S. citizenship and divorcing the country is an amazing peace of mind. I don't have to fight. I don't have to worry. I don't have to be on guard or have my weapons ready or do whatever else people are doing. I just enjoy my life. I go where I'm treated best, and I think it's a beautiful thing. How can Nomad Capitalist help you? Four ways. Number one, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to make sure you get our new video every day. Number two, get a copy of Nomad Capitalist, the book. You'll learn a lot of my personal experiences over a dozen years of studying this stuff, as well as exactly some of the strategies that you can use to build your Nomad Capitalist plan. Number three, if you're not sure where to start, but you want to come and learn from my team and I, you want to come and mingle with like-minded people, Learn more about our live conference, Nomad Capitalist Live. It's coming up soon. And number four, if you want some help right now because you've got a burning issue, you need something solved, you want to lower your taxes, get a second passport, or build the Nomad Capitalist lifestyle of your dreams, go to nomadcapitalist.com and click on Become a Client.